Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we will see how to make a header row in Excel. In Excel, when I'm working with a table, usually the first row is the column headers, and this is the row headers. Excel has a provision to convert a set of data into a table. And when doing this, the top row or the first row becomes a header row. So let's see how to do this. We select the data, go to insert, and say table. I just want a regular table. Then it asks me for the data. Since I've already selected it, the range is pre-populated. And I need to tick my table has headers, because this is what will convert the first row into a header row. And I'll say OK. Now you can see that there are many, advantage, many advantages to having data as a table in Excel. One thing is I have the filters. I can uh, sort or filter with these uh, buttons. And also it becomes much easier to refer to data from this table when it is organized as such. There are other advantages to uh, having data as a table, especially when it comes to creating calculated columns and doing other operations. So this is how to make a header row in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.